follow me on the road to wait lost. Hey guys, so it's been 40 days since I started this and I cannot believe it. If 40 days, wow, that's amazing. I don't think I've been on a diet longer than like two weeks. So this is a big deal for me and I'm so excited and I just want to first of all thank God for helping me keep on track and also thank you guys like you guys are the ones that helped me do this and you know you know it's your comments and your likes and your views and your interaction with me even on Instagram all of that adds up to make me still keep on going and you know pat yourselves on the back because you actually helped me in this process and I just wanted to start off by saying thank you guys this is my sister's Pung, and she's so cute. Her name's Pancake. Say hi. <laughs> she's learning healthy habits. Okay, we're about to go to Sharice's mom's garden to get fresh cilantro. And there's oregano and there's all kinds of things. But because she says there's ass, there's a reason for the yellow gloves. I mean, fresh cilantro. Come on, gather. Hunter and gather. Is that your puppy? Yeah. I'm going to be show you how to prepare spaghetti squash. First, well first, this is a spaghetti squash, okay? And although you don't eat the outside, I prefer to wash it really good on the outside because when I stick my knife in it, I don't want any particles or dirt going on the inside where I am gonna eat. So first, <clears throat> you wash your spaghetti squash. Then you put a piece of foil down and you want to be very careful because I've gotten my knife stuck in it before. So you don't put your body parts in front of it knife either. You have to kind so of So it's kind of rough, huh? Yeah, you need to put some muscle into it. But you want to be careful that the, you hold the hold it in such a way that the knife doesn't slip out and poke you instead. the inside looks like and the green is only because there was cilantro on the knife the ones with the little grapefruit spoons they have those little teeth and it helps to get this out a lot easier so what you want to do is scoop out all this stringy stuff and all the seeds it's just like taking a, a, a multivitamin. It has all kinds of minerals and nutrients in it. It's low in calories for those who like to watch their calories or count their calories. And they say it's because of the water content in the squash. Um, it has vitamin C, I know for sure, mm -hmm. and it has all kinds of other things in it. And the fiber in it oh, helps yeah. you to keep fuller yeah. longer. Yeah, and with the spaghetti squash, I mean, once you get it cut open, that's the hardest thing. Mm -hmm. um, the, with the spaghetti squash, you don't have to worry about gluten, you don't have to worry about wheat, you know, any of those things, and it's a vegetable and it's good for you. A little bit of, this is uh, balsamic vinaigrette. <clears throat> At home, I use balsamic vinegar. So we have a little bit of that, and then I brought some uh, Greek herbs, and it has oregano, garlic, salt, black pepper, minced onion, parsley, uh, some sort of pepper, and then margarine, and then, no, not margarine, margaram, and then uh, some sort of sugar in the bottom, but at least it's not the first ingredient. We're going to stick some in there, we're going to stir it around. Actually, I like using regular balsamic vinegar because I know that there's no aluminum or anything else that's been placed in there. A lot of times in your salad dressings, one of the things that's been added to it for thickener is going to be aluminum and you do not want aluminum in your body. Hmm. And then just massage it in. Of 
course, you know, once it's cooked, we'll show you. But once it's cooked, you can, you know, pour a little bit on there. You can put spaghetti sauce on it once it's cooked. You can just throw a little bit of balsamic vinegar on there, throw your, some uh, grilled fish in there. I like to roast some uh, Brussels sprouts and grill some sliced sweet potatoes and then throw those in there as well once it's cooked. Ooh, using gloves makes it a lot handier. Don't get my hands all nasty. Okay, so what we did is that we preheated the oven, got it warmed up, and then we set it on 450. Should be nice and hot now. And then what we do, once we've got them cut open, skin or cleaned out, then what we do after we've uh, uh, massaged it with some herbs and all that stuff, we stick them upside down. Then it's on bake. You can do 450 or 425 depending on what your how good your oven is, and then let it bake for about 30 minutes. Right. This is what spaghetti squash looks like when it's done. You take your fork, stick it in the hide. If it goes really easy, then it's cooked. But there is such a thing as overcooking it, and then it'd be kind of mushy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out. Going to put it over here. We're gonna take and flip it over. Look at that. Yeah, oh, that's pretty. Oops, that might be a little too done. It's kind of hot. And because it's hot, you can use a pot holder too. Then you take your fork oh, that's good. and you just start going like this. And look, looks mm -hmm. like spaghetti, mm -hmm. doesn't it? You just go all the way around. See how easy? Now, if you cook it a l not long enough, you'll end up with it al dente, which it'll have some sort of sort of a crunch to it, but it's still good. It's so what happens when you leave it too long? If you leave it too long, it'll get mushy. Okay. Does that look just about right? I don't know. Let's see. Mmm. So why is it important to rinse your beans? Well, I rinse the beans just to get off all that stuff that they stick in the can to preserve it. Because I found that if I don't rinse the beans and I use the juice that's in the can, my stomach, well, it'll blow your stomach up to where you have um, air on your stomach for, it's very painful, very uncomfortable. So rinse them. And massaging them too. Yeah, you massage them, get that stuff off of there. Wow, it looks just Pretty. like spaghetti. Exactly. Put some fresh cilantro. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take and put some rinsed black beans. Look how pretty that looks. It's pretty. And then we're going to take and put a little bit of the Greek herbs in there again. And then, do you want this, or do you want olive oil? I guess the Newman's own probably easier. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try it. Mmm, very good. Mmm, love it. I love it. <laughs> now we're making some cilantro tea. This is gonna help the digestive system. It's It tastes sort of like an herbal tea. Okay. Wow. It smells like clean. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, clean your whistle too. Mm, it doesn't have very much flavor at all. Mm -mm. Just but I, would, I would definitely, um, it has like a little aftertaste, but it's not a bad one. It's very mild, it's not harsh, so. You know, I give it a thumbs up. Okay, good <laughs> deal.
enjoy. I'm gonna talk to you about the benefits of cilantro. Cilantro is able to prevent cardiovascular damage. It also, it's also a remedy for diabetes, which it, and it also lowers the blood sugar. It is a strong antioxidant. Also, if you have anxiety, it also helps with that. This also helps your sleep quality. It dec decreases stress and it has natural fungal cleansing. So does that mean like, it, like fungal, like whenever you have fungus on your feet, like that kind of stuff? Well, you get fungal on your body. You know, okay. it's not just on your feet. If you get a fungal on your feet, then it's, there's something going on inside your body system that it, it, anything that happens on the outside of the skin is usually due to something that's not in balance inside your body, your digestive system probably. But uh, cilantro also is an anti-inflammatory. And um, <clears throat> it also can help, it, it helps to pull out. If you take cilantro, you can put it, you can uh, grow it naturally and you can pull it off. This is all the information we found off the internet. So it's not like we know everything. You can find the same information, but you can pull it, wash it off, pull it off the stem and then put it in the freezer in a Ziploc baggie, I'm assuming. And then you can pull it out for any of your smoothies and you can put it, pull it out for any of your cooking. And while ago, when we made the spaghetti squash, we put like a handful of clean, pulled off uh, the stem cilantro in each bowl, along with some black beans and some herbs and all kinds of yummy things. And it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. But, um, but it, uh, it pulls the aluminum. It, it uh, helps to pull the heavy metals out of your body, like aluminum. Aluminum is a really bad one. Uh, the reports have shown that Alzheimer's patients have high studies, high, I mean high uh, levels of aluminum in their body. Because what aluminum does, it wraps itself around your, your biggest organ, which is your brain. And so that's why with Alzheimer's patients, it short circuits their memories. And it's really hard to pull out. But the, what we found the other night on the internet is that if you mix uh, cilantro with chlorella and there was some other ingredient. It's really good for pulling out the heavy toxins include or the heavy metals including mercury. And of course we get mercury in a lot of the fish and there's probably other ways but some of the ways that you get too much aluminum in your body is by eating a bunch of baked goods because in your baking powder it has aluminum in it. You can if you look for it you can find um, baking powder without aluminum, especially if you go to a health food store and ask for it. Um, you might be able to find it in the grocery store, but the one that has the Indian chief uh, symbol on it, and nothing against Indian chiefs, but it just happens to be one that is very common even when I was a kid, has um, aluminum in it. But um, your salad dressings, uh, that are on the shelf, they have aluminum in it. They, the, the manufacturers use that for thickening. Your toothpaste, your anti uh, your uh, antiperspirants to keep you from stinking, you know, that you use your, de your anti-deodorant, -de perspirant deodorants. Um, it has aluminum in it. Uh, your mouthwashes, your toothpaste, your orange cheese. It's a, pro it's a chemical that's used in the orange cheese as well. And there's a, unlimited things that they put aluminum in. And it's not, it's not good for our bodies. And also, um, just to go back with cilantro, you can also grow, like, instead of buying organic cilantro, you can also grow the cilantro in your own home. Mm -hmm. And my mom has the garden, as you can see. And um, Joyce, you could probably grow it at your apartment. What do you think? I don't know. It's worth a try, though. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have a lot of good lighting in my apartment. I'm, I'm limited to two windows. So if you but know we'll something, so if you guys know how to how to grow herbs and cilantro, things like that, um, it would be cool if you link it down below so we can look at that and we can start growing our own cilantro at our apartment. From Sharice's mom while ago that, because she has her own garden, she's had problems with bugs attacking her lettuce. But when she planted cilantro around the lettuce, it kept the bugs away. So that's pretty cool too. Mm -hmm. Definitely going to start drinking cilantro a lot more. And this is the tea, it tastes very good. Mm -hmm. Start adding it to my smoothies and uh, putting it in my food and just having it around with me a lot more. Wash it off, pull it off the stem and then put it in the freezer in a Ziploc 